Good morning from Hong Kong. It's the 2015 Hong Kong... Oh, I'm sorry, wrong shorts. One second. Ah, oh, there we go. Okay. Now, uh, I am Andrew Dewey, and I'm going to be your guide for the 2015 Hong Kong Marathon, which I will not be winning. First off, it's about uh, two hours to race time. I'd like to show you my uh, fuel, my race fuel. It's whatever I could find at 7-Eleven last night. Yep. Cheese and ham sandwich, as only 7-Eleven can deliver. That's breakfast. Okay, this Lamborghini has absolutely nothing to do with the marathon. Uh, anyway, Hong Kong just before dawn. I'm gonna walk through a massive construction project, which is the new high-speed rail st station, which I guess will go to Beijing. Somewhere over there is the, uh, the start area. This, by the way, is the International Commerce Center or Commercial Center or something. It's 118 stories. Beautiful building. And, uh, this is, I think, the Moon Arch or the Sun Arch building or something. I don't know. It's all kind of weird to be here. There's just no activity here at 6 in the morning on a Sunday. Heading to the start line. So you might be wondering, why am I going in the opposite direction of all the runners? Well, <laughs> My cab driver got seriously lost trying to work his way around the road closures, so eventually I'll get to the start line and turn right around and join these folks. Okay, so this is a weird way to start a race. Excuse me. Uh, all right. Can I get it? Can I get it? Thank you. Thank you very much. All right. <laughs> well, that was one weird way. Start a race. Here we go. Thank you. Remember that ICC building? Well, there it is. Can't be more than a mile away. Cab ride over, over seemed to go about six miles, 40 minutes. <laughs> anyway, I'm on the course. All is well. About two or three kilometers into the course. So if I remember right, it's uh, two bridges and two tunnels. This is about uh, almost seven kilometers in the course. We're gonna make a right turn and head over Stonecutter Bridge. Let's see if I can hold the camera kind of steady. Do my best. Stonecutter Bridge, heading across. There, a little video selfie of me and the, the uh, stone cutter bridge. So far, so good. About eight kilometers. Nam one tunnel time at about 10 kilometers. Time for another bridge. Unfortunately, I don't know the name of this one. Well, I wish I could tell you which bridge I'm on and which bridge that is and all sorts of other things, but I don't really know. All I know is it's about 15K through. That's 14K going the other way and there's a turnaround there. Anyway. <laughs> Woohoo! Alright, it is the third turnaround, the final turnaround. And this is bridge number three. I wish I could tell you what that is. But about 20K into the race. And now we head kind of towards uh, Hong Kong Island. Here's a better view. 20 kilometers. Here's the bridge we were on earlier. In the harbor. All right, tunnel number two. Chen Chang Tunnel. Looks like that is going under the har harbor, I think. It's kind of it's got a big descent to it. So it is kilometer 23, more than halfway through the race, and virtually no spectators in one of the most densely populated cities in the world. The reason for that is there's no way they can be here. We're on bridges, we're in tunnels. For only like for the first two kilometers could spectators even spectate. All right, down the tunnel. 30K. Almost three-fourths of the way there. The uh, half-marathoners are now on the course. They have the uh, 
the E's, e bibs. So uh, about 12K to go. Uh, it's heating up, getting close to 70 degrees and very high humidity. And it's a high pollution day. So those are three excuses for why I'm being a lard ass today. As you can tell this morning, I am not powered by raw food, powered by whatever offering is a 7-Eleven ass on store. All right, I got my tunnels wrong. This is the tunnel that goes under Victoria Harbor. It is our third and last tunnel, I'm pretty sure. As you can see, 34K, and about 8K left. And <laughs> what do you know? The ICC building. I could just go to my hotel room. <laughs> Yeah, not yet. Okay, so those two buses just went by and people just about keeled over. It's already really bad air quality and they just spewed out a ton of diesel exhaust. This is not a good part of this race. I'm talking to you from somewhere underneath Victoria Harbor. Almost there. All right, 5K to go. And I feel like I've just smoked like two cartons of cigarettes. Air quality is really bad. This is an interesting scene here. The uh, yellow umbrellas are symbolic of the democratic uh, protests, the Occupy Central protests, which are now over. But a lot of the yellow jerseys you see, you know, all of the yellow umbrellas are about democracy. Uh, and interestingly enough, uh, some police happen to be right across from them. I don't think that's a coincidence. Anyway, the air is killing me. 3K, 3K to go. Democracy! <laughs> Democracy! 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 Why am I glad to see that? view from 118 stories up the top of the ICC building and as you can see it's just not a good day for looking at uh, Hong Kong from above uh, it is a very smoggy day the government actually issued a warning to uh, people should limit their outdoor activities today <laughs> so obviously the marathon runners did not take the uh, advice and uh, boy that was something uh, anyway I'm sure this is really gorgeous on a clear day but today is not a clear day Oh, back in the room. Uh, thank you for being my guest. Uh, bottom line, oh, I'm sorry, long shorts. Um, bottom line, uh, I'm not so sure about the Hong Kong Marathon. I love the city, strongly recommend visiting Hong Kong, but marathon itself, uh, not until they clean up the air. This is just ridiculous. I felt like I was just going to vomit at uh, kilometer 36 after all that breathing of this air. This is really, really polluted air. And um, I don't know about running a marathon in it. Um, anyway, uh, Hong Kong itself, though, I love. So that's it. Thanks for being my guest. Take care.